beautiful, exotic. The deep purple flowers of purple loosestrife attract pollinators like bumblebees and swallowtail butterflies. Purple loosestrife is an invasive plant that became established in the 1800s. It had no natural enemies and disrupted wetland habitats by reducing species diversity. Now as I walk about this marsh, I see nothing but loosestrife. Purple loosestrife is a fierce competitor that drives out native plants. There are few water birds here. Even turtles are not abundant. There should be more variety of plants and animals. I have heard about this beetle called Gallarusella that the New Jersey Department of Agriculture has released that feeds on loosestrife. The white eggs of Gallarusella are laid in clusters on the leaves and stems of the plants. The newly hatched larvae feed on the upper surface of leaves and stems. As the larvae grow, they eat more and more of the plant. Plants that have been heavily fed upon are stunted and produce few seeds. Before this European beetle was released, it was held in quarantine to make sure that it didn't have parasites that would endanger our local insects and to make sure that Gallarusella fed only on purple loosestrife. Already this beetle has reduced loosestrife populations in wetlands in Canada and other areas of the United States. By releasing Gallarusella, we are eliminating purple loosestrife and restoring natural habitats. Mm -hmm.